New information, some teachers in Huntsville City Schools will soon have classrooms filled with students. The district returns to in-person instruction with a staggered schedule starting September 14th. Today, the Alabama Education Association explained to Way 31's Megan Reyna why it's concerned with parts of that plan. We thought it was important that the people who do the work day in and day out actually have their voices heard during this process. Adam Keller represents District 2 for the Alabama Education Association, which includes Huntsville City Schools. He said when the district rolled out the plan to start the year virtually, teachers seemed pleased. But a recent decision by the district influenced Keller to reach out to teachers in Huntsville. What we've heard from our educators is that they have had very little input on any of these plans for the district. Uh, they're the experts in the classroom. They need to have their opinions out there. They need to have their needs addressed, and you can't address them if you don't ask what they are. The association sent out a survey Tuesday to all its members and asked them to share it with non-members in order to fully understand the obstacles teachers are facing. Go up inside the Thursday the night, the Huntsville City School Board talked about precautions in place for and, students uh, and faculty and health and safety. And Keller and sat in on that meeting. I'll tell you that I've heard from many of our educators that they ended that board meeting with more questions than they started it. All Huntsville City School employees have until midnight to complete the survey sent out by the association. Keller says he'll then bring the concerns here to Huntsville City School leaders. Reporting in Huntsville, Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.